from here I can insert this cross edge down here and this one will end up right here and I'll also move this one over here first so that it will be oriented correctly so I'll move this one here first I pair this one and this one is in the correct spot I move it down and this one will move here and that will be my cross so okay next I have this blue and white F2L pair so pair up and insert into the back then I've red blue and yellow and red blue and ye blue and yellow is here so I'll move this piece over here and take this one out like that so that they match like this and I insert them to the back then I have these two here so I'll do this F2L case like that and these two like that and then I got an OL which looks like the yeah, recognition is a bit tricky Okay, it's actually the lightning bolt with the one dot here. So how I do this one would be... But I think I don't want to risk doing the wrong finger tricks on this cube. So I'm just going to do an F inverse sexy F prime. And then I'll just do this. And I think I recognize this COL, which goes something like that. And I got a U perm, so like that. Okay, it's a bit hard to finger trick this cube a bit. Okay, I'll solve with the cross on the bottom. But, okay, this one is already solved. This one is in the correct place, but the center is twisted. So I'll just move this away. Twist the center once, and... Okay, it's not flowing model at all, so it's quite... It's going to catch. But Twist it back, and I see that it still doesn't quite match. So I'll just repeat the process. It still doesn't match. And finally, it matches. So I'll look for another cross edge, which uh, it will be this one here. So I can see that this doesn't match with the center at all. So before I insert the cross edge, I will twist the center around. So I move this one aside first, twist the center, move it back, and it matches. So I move the cross edge down. So I only have one more cross piece left to solve. So it's right here, and okay, match, and it matches exactly with this one. So I'll just move it down. So now I've solved the cross. Next, I'll look for an F2L edge and a corner. So okay, I actually see that these two are already paired up. So I'll just insert the F2L pair. And one very easy thing about this puzzle is all four F2L pairs are interchangeable. So you can just anyhow solve an F2L and slot it to any slot you like. It doesn't really matter. You can just do as many D moves as you like. Corners are all interchangeable. The E slice edges are all interchangeable. Next, I, I see a soft F2L pair here, but it's upside down. So I have a special help for that. And that solves this F2L. And then I have this corner here and this edge. So, I'll pair them up. I'll try to pair them up. Mm, wait, a bit wrong. And okay, if, when I do this, uh, they don't match. So, I will pair them up the other way. Okay, now they match. So, I'll just insert them on the front here. And then, okay, the last corner is here, and the last edge is here. And okay, this one is the triple sexy case. And yeah, I got an OL skip. For the last puzzle, I'm going to take away my cutting board because it's a very greenish blue and the color looks quite similar to this puzzle. Okay, once again, with I will solve from the smallest side first. So I'll take this cross edge and just insert it down. And it doesn't match with this center, so I'll just twist the center around. The solving method is actually quite similar. Just that I think it's a bit harder to finger trick a Fisher cube than a windmill cube because this one is it's closer to 90 degrees than this one. This one is like 45 degrees. It's way off compared to the windmill. So I'll insert this cross edge next and I'll just... Okay, it doesn't match with that. So I'll turn it over. And check again, it doesn't match. It still doesn't match.
and now it matches, so inserts. And then you okay, have another cross edge here. So it doesn't match with this center. Still doesn't match. Still doesn't match. And then now it matches, so I insert that. Then the last cross edge will be this one, and it does not match. Doesn't match. Okay, now wait. Let's just try that again. Yeah, this one now it matches, so I just insert them, and I have to cross. So the corner is in the correct place, the edge is not, so... Uh, actually what I'll, what I'll do here is, I'll just flip this edge, because I wanted, I want to see if this corner can pair with this edge, but apparently it does not. So I'll just flip the edge around. And now it pairs, and actually I don't need to even slice it back because all the cross edges are interchangeable with each other. So I basically just solve this F to a pair already. Then this corner, I'm going to see if it pairs with this edge, which it does not. So I'll turn the edge over 180 degrees to the other side, and then now these two are now paired up in the split case. So I'll just insert them like that. And I solved the second F2L. For the third F2L, this corner can go with this edge, so... Like that. I'll just, I think I'll just sledgehammer this pair in, like that, yeah. Then this corner will pair up with this one. And okay, I recognize this OL. Actually, I, I know all the OLs. It's just it's just a matter of which one is easier to finger trick on a weird shape board. So in this case, I'm, I decide to risk it 